Hi. This here is a new arrival to my channel, so I'm sure this here is up. This is Aluba. Say hi. So, up here we have a list of potential cards that are like relevant, whatever the point. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with a little bit of a wish list, sort of get a little groundwork, what I want the format to look like, and then we'll get on to what I actually think Konami's going to do. So, first off, easy one. Hulk, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Get rid of this guy. I hate him. I never want to see him again. I never want to see this thing resolve again. Next up. Come on. <laughs> I, I don't need to explain this card to anyone watching this video. Um, I hopefully don't need to have to explain this one either. Yes, it's seeing a little less play this format. It is still a disgusting card. It's still going to come back the next time that it's playable, especially if Hulk stays legal. We gotta get rid of this thing. It's disgusting. So this is an interesting one. So there's two potential hits here with Sprite, and that's Swap Prog and Toad. Both of these cards are actually pretty insane. Swap Prog itself has actually been insane since its original release. This card has been absolutely nuts multiple times, and I think it's just going to continue to be nuts every time a Rank 2 engine comes out. And for that, I know that Toad is really crazy. Toad's probably a little more likely, but I actually just think this card should be banned. It's just ridiculous. Next up. Controversial opinion, but not one that needs to be explained. I just think that Crossout is a far more balanced version of this card. This call by does not need to be in the game. It is disgusting. I'd like to get rid of it. Now, here's another interesting one. So, I don't think they're likely to hit any Sprite or Tier cards. However, something they could do is hit the Danger Engine in Tier. At least then we'll have a bit of... Uh, a moment to rest before Tier Element Former uh, comes back in Shizu cards in November. And the card that was really, really notable in Euros was the Danger Mothman. But three copies with playing stuff like Goku Ball to search it. It's a level four. It lets you draw and mill again if you, you know, it lets you pitch anything if you discard it. Like, it's one of the most powerful cards of the Danger package. I think limiting this would just slow down the deck a bit, make it a bit less consistently able to get off a bunch of Danger Chains with this card and go into easy rank fours. I think it would just be a nice little hit to it. A bit of lowering the power level just before we move on to the Shizu cards format. Next up, another one that doesn't mean very much explanation. I just, I still just think this engine is way too good. But like, God, just this, this, I just hate this engine so much. It's too good. It's way too generically good. They need to just cut this down. Um, please, please, I'm begging you, Konami. I'm begging you. No more Shadol. This card should never come back. This just should never have been unbanned and tears demonstrate just how insane it is at Euros. Don't want to see it again. This this should also not have gone to three. It's disgusting. It's just incredibly powerful. Does way too much what it is. Just just no, get rid of it. Oh yeah, I already talked about Toad. Let's put that in no change. Um I don't think there needs to be any hit to brand of this format. The deck, like, did nothing at Euros, and it's, like, it did a couple things at Regionals this weekend, but, like, come on. Like, that was in Tierlement. Brand itself just isn't very good going into the next format, especially when Shizu cards and everything comes out, and with Darkman Blast coming out, Brand just does not meet at the competition. Super Volley, honestly, probably should be banned, but I feel like this is a format where it kind of needs to exist, so I think right now it should just stay where it is. Uh, I think it's pretty fine this format. Um, triple tag probably the similar thing. Like it's being really crazy, but at the minute I think it's kind of needed in this sort of format where not many people are on hand traps. I think it's not as obscenely powerful in the format where not everyone has hand traps as well. Um, I don't think this card should be legal, but like this is just me really not enjoying striker. So realistically, so in terms of wish list, oh I want this hit right now. This can just stay where it is. Uh, desires just put this thing back to three. It didn't need to go down. It's perfectly fine where it is. Uh, ban this card, please. Ban Shifter. I hate it. Despise it. Just This just ends the turn by itself. This is, against some decks, just that much devastating. That is as powerful as, as dropping a maxi on decks like Tillament. Like, they just pass. This should not exist. This should absolutely not be legal in the format. I don't think anyone will disagree with Stormwinds either. Just, just get rid of it. Just, just be gone. Gone. Death. Cringe. Uh, Harp, bring it back to one. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. It'd be so based. It'd be so funny. As long as they don't have Mermaid, I think the deck's completely fine. I think that they can just bring it back. 
Um, Itali, this card should not have come off one. It is absolutely insane, and it will continue to be insane every time they release a psychic monster. Just put it back to one where rotors and things like that should be, and keep it there. So, I have a little story here, a little brief thing. I've been picking up uh, Thunder Dragon Core recently because I'm playing a lot in Macedal, and it is very fun, and Colossus is cool to drop, uh, but it is too strong, it's just stay where it is. Um, on the contrary, though, I want Grass 2-3 right now. I think this card is really cool. We have a format over in the OSG and in Macedal where it is at 3. I think it's a 2, actually, in OSG order, but it does, like, some stuff. It's it's not played competitively in Macedal. Maybe you'll see a bit more play when it dies down a bit with all these uh, insane FDK decks, like BFD and stuff are getting banned. But, like, it gets an average amount of tops in the OCG. It doesn't do that much. And I think it's a really cool card that offers up a lot of options for you. Now, here's the thing. Tail Element exists. We probably can't have this card at three while Tail Element exists. We probably can't have this card at, like, more than one while Tail Element exists. So, yeah, I want this card at three. But I recognize that we're never going to get this card off the list while tier limits are legal because they're just absolutely insane with it. Uh, next, the blaster. Bring him back. Bring my boy home. I love him. Release, release him from his shackles. Uh, we shoot it. Uh, so this is on the similar sort of vein of, oh, do we need to hit Sword Soul? Do we hit, need to hit Branded? So I don't think Sword Soul needs a hit, of course, going to the next list. But I actually think Vishuda is a little too good at three. I think just hitting this down to one makes it just so sort of then decks like it don't just have this free bounce every single turn. It like baits so much and interrupts so much, it's like just an insanely good card. Then I think it's a bit too easy to access this effect. Like Draco Mac has shown us just how insane it is to get one bounce per turn. Like it's absolutely just way too much. Um I'm not arguing this, it's staying it's staying bad. Uh, Electromite, not, yeah, not arguing this, it's staying bad. Uh, this, obviously, not arguing it, it's just stay bad. Destrudo, obviously, is really strong, but it's like, I actually think Destrudo might just be fine right now. At one, like, it's not doing very much, it's like doing a little bit, like, it's just playing, like, a couple tier lists. But I'm actually interested to see where it goes, I think it's not quite at the level where it needs to go back on the list. Um, Jet should not have been unbanned, this card is absolutely insane, even without Hulk, it just does far too much, it does too much by itself. Without Hulk, maybe it can stay at 1 and not do that much until they release more Synchro support. But it just shouldn't have come off the list in the first place because it's so good whenever anything to do with Synchros comes out. Um, wall. Put, put it to three, who cares? Uh, light stage, so what's interesting about this card is um, it's probably fine, but I really don't like Trickstar, and I don't think the deck needs an multiple more copies of a not once per turn rotor, like... Just, just no, please, just keep it at two and see how it goes. I, d I don't want to see this thing at three. Uh, time seal. Put it to three, like, who cares? Really, who cares? Um, Tiger, put it, put it to two, I want to see what they do. I want to see. Lunar Light's a pretty cool deck. I want to see what it does. It's not doing anything right now with Tiger to 1, so put it to 2 and see if it does anything else. Um, they'll probably do this because of, you know, the True Dicker Sport coming out. This thing can come to 3, but realistically, they're going to put in quarantine. So yeah, bring this thing down. Please release it. Uh, Yada, obviously, to 3. Who cares? Um, this can just, like, no change, obviously, on this thing. Handle loop bad. Um, so, Chaos Rule. And this card should be banned, realistically. I'm gonna put it over here, just as a little, just a little... It's all like, in this sort of midway of like, I don't know. But like, this thing should probably be banned, it's a bit too, it's too generic, it does too much. Uh, but I think right now it probably can just stay where it is, but one day I can see that card going on the ban list. Um, rivalry is a similar thing, I think sometimes it's kind of necessary, but I do hate the card. At some point it might get banned or hit in some ways, but it's probably fine right now. Uh, and last, Instant Fusion, so... This card is insane. Um, obviously, they know it's a problem. That's why it's a one. That's why they printed Ready Fusion. But the fact that they printed the Predator Plant Fusion and the Kit Close at level 5, they clearly want this card to be legal. They clearly want people to keep playing it. And it is cool to get out a few things. Um, I actually quite like it. So, with that in mind, this is my wish list in mind. This is what I think the format should probably look like. 
let us go over and decide what I think Konami will actually do. So, here we have a little list again. Here's what I think Konami are going to do with this list. Skill Drain, I don't think they're going to do anything to it. Half, I don't think it's coming back. Like, I want to keep saying this, but I say this every list, and it just doesn't come back. Colossus, I don't think it's coming back. Vishudo, I don't think they're going to hit. Maxi, they're not going to hit. Electromite, they're not going to bring back. Grass, they're not going to bring back. Destru, they're not going to hit. Jet, they're not going to bring Instant, they're definitely not going to hit. They want people to play this. Uh, Blaster, I'm always going to put this here. You know what? Actually, surely at this point, they can recognize that we're in this point where a removal light blaster is actually healthy to have in the format. You know, we need removal that is searchable and outs floodgates without it being, you know, just like, you know, all these non-searchable spells like cosmic and mystic and twin and galaxy cyclone, all these things. And in decks that can play them, I don't think you would see a lot of play, but it's cool to have that additional just piece of removal in the format, as well as just he's just perfectly fine and can come back. I think they might bring him back. Um, Snow is insane in tiers, as this event demonstrated. I don't think they'll hit her yet, but I think it's entirely possible that she gets banned next ban list. Chaos Roll, I don't think they're going to hit. Rivalry, they're not going to hit. So, every format, Konami does one stupid ban or unban. Um, I think the one this time is, I actually think they're just gonna go, yeah, Zen Mighty, just bring it back, just see what it does, you know? Why not? It'll be funny, just see what it does. I think this, this will be their funny hit this time, this is what I'm placing my bet on. But I do have another one in mind as well. Uh, Wall they're gonna put to three, Time Seal they're gonna put to three. I think they will put Tiger to two, again, because it's not doing anything and because, you know, they wanted to bring it off the list, so you might as well just put it to two and see what it does. Uh, Tactics are not gonna hit, I don't... I think they're gonna hit Swap Prog, I think it's the correct hit, but I don't think it's what they're gonna hit. Mine is getting banned. This is the one thing on this entire list I will say is a fact, is this card will not be legal next format. There is no chance in hell they keep this card alive. Uh, Scythe I think will get banned as well, like they recognize that it's a problem card, even if it's not being seen that much abuse right now, it just keeps coming back and keeps being ridiculous. It's insanely easy to get out in combo decks. Uh, Super Poly I don't think it's getting hit at all. Desires I think is probably staying where it is for now. I think, realistically, I want to just keep it where it is and see what it does. Um, like, they can't really gauge how good it is right now, like, because of the format, but... You know, I actually, no, 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 yeah, they'll put this thing in three. Yeah, this, it's not doing anything right now that's, like, crazy. It's not in the, the best decks as much, especially since we're in a low hand trap format. I don't think it's actually that crazy that they'll put this back. Uh, Yada, obviously, is going to go to three. Light stage, I think they're going to just put to three. I don't think it should, but... They're moving it down. It's not actually doing that much in the format. They're going to put it three. Uh, Stormins, I think, will actually get the axe this format. Um, like, it's the one, like, thing that makes Flunder an actual meta threat. If you get rid of this card, Flunder becomes an annoying deck, but not, like, a crazy strong one that can just floodgate you out of the game with a search. That's the main thing with this. Is this has been a problem in two formats now for being searchable on the opponent's turn, essentially with either Simor getting out in the end phase or getting this out in your opponent's main phase immediately as they do anything. They they surely have got to recognize at this point that this card is just going to keep being a problem whenever any generic way to get Wing Beast exists. And we've had two in a row now. They got to get rid of this thing. Um, right, realistically. So these things, I think they're going to do what they did at first in the OCG and in Masvidal. I think they're just going to put these to two. They're like really, really strong and generic. They're still being played a lot right now, and they're just going to keep being that good. I don't think they're going to kill it outright because they're not the strongest thing in the format right now. They are contesting with Sprite and TLM and all that. So I think they're just going to put them down to two and just see what they do, and maybe they'll leave them like that for a long time. Uh, Shifter, I don't think it's getting hit. Toad, I think is the hit they're going to do for Toad. And I think this is going to be the dumb hit, is they're just going to go, oh, Toad to one, it's fine. This is the Eva to one of this list. They're just going to go, oh, put Toad to one. Surely this will be fine. Um, and in the similar vein, I don't think they're realistically going to do any um, tier hit. I think they have to find some tier hit to do, but nothing monumental. I think they're just going to kill an engine and just go wind up ban. So this little selection is just like, oh, we have done a slight, just a pat on the head. So a little tap to just say, oh, we've hit tiers. Oh, we've hit sprite without actually impacting it. Like most sprite lists only play one toad anyway. Um, a lot of sprite uh, tier lists aren't on at all, but it's just a, a way of going, oh, we've hit it, 
and then we'll get like a more substantial list in like January, December that's gonna like actually kill those decks. Like either kill those decks or just do a significant hit to them to bring them down to the power level or everything else. Um, my other theory, so this is my my little theory, right? Is either one of these two cards is gonna come off the come off to limited as the funny dumb list. So they did bring back judgment in OCG and it's being disgustingly abused with Jaugen and all that, so it's entirely possible that either they'll just bring back Zen Mighty on its own at one, and I think it'll be completely fine that way, or they'll bring back Judgment and ban Jaugen at the same time. I think it's far more likely that we're going to see Zen Mighty back. This is what I'm putting in as my dumb unlimit, but I think it's entirely possible that they would do this instead, and they'd have to hit Jaugen in that case. Um, Italy, I think, is going to go to two. I think they're not going to immediately kill the punks and stuff. I think they're just going to go, okay, look, this is too good. Three, let's put it back to two, see if it's still too strong. And then next, let's still probably go back to one. Um, Halk. This is really tough. This is a very 50-50. Um, I think, realistically, they're getting rid of it. I think this is going to be a calm down list. A couple half dozen bands on the most, like, hated cards in the game right now. The most obscenely broken cards in the game right now. I think Halk's finally going to go, okay, this has got to go. Every time it gets used, it's just doing way too much in the deck. It's limiting their design space for new tuners of that point. It's limiting their design base for synchros in general. If we just get rid of this, they can make a lot more interesting synchro decks. They don't just rely on put two monsters on board, make Halk, do Halk combo, make Baron, etc. Uh, Branded doesn't need a hit, but realistically, Konami dumb. Um, they will limit Branded opening most likely. Uh, I don't think it needs to be done, the deck's not doing that much, but like, I think they're just gonna try and slowly bring down the power level of the whole format at once, and try and wean us into a format where they do like a nuke ban list for December, January, February, something like that. So I think we're gonna see a branded hit here, like, with opening. Uh, this face off, I think, will go to two. Realistically, I think this card can go to two, but, um... I the, so I wouldn't normally say this, like, I'm bringing a lot of stuff down here, like, this is actually quite a significant change, and, you know, normally they don't do this much. Last list was actually quite substantial, bringing stuff off, and I think they're going to keep doing that. And with the Draco Slayer support coming out in Darkwing Blast, they're going to want to get people to push towards it. And I know that the lists in the OCG don't play this, really, um, but they don't have Electra. We don't have Electra Mine, and they do, so... There's a lot of stuff that could be different about those lists, and I think they will try and push people to play that new d that deck when it becomes available. So they'll want to bring this back, and it'll probably be to three by December, January. Uh, Engage is going to stay where it is, and Called By is going to stay where it is. So, so this is what I perceive it to be as like the Konami list for September. This is probably going to come into effect before Niagara in all realistic sense. Um, so, yeah, like I think this is going to be. Kill all the floodgates out of the format. Kill Hack out of the format. Cut down the power level a little bit, just a little tap or to these couple of top decks, but not actually fully addressing the most powerful stuff in the format because they want people to still space bright and tier with the next set coming out and with the Ashizu cards coming out in November. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna see that much change to the actual terms of the format and decks you play against, but at least there should be less degenerate stuff. Honestly, it's a kind of fun format right now. Though, so, in all seriousness, Konami's probably just going to bring Card of Safe Return back to 3. 